Welcome to part 13 of my career, where last time we act, we won the NXT Championship and we got called up to the main roster. The Authority currently likes us, and we are in the middle of a rivalry with a mystery opponent, so hopefully we can find that out during today's episode. So we'll check out the Authority's uh, objective right now. So the current Authority's order performs three aerial moves off the turnbuckle. Hopefully that doesn't mean three different aerial moves. So let's just get through this. Man, they're just giving away Sting and Rusev on free TV. So of course, uh, we're still very low on the overall rating of our character. Uh, we're only at, um, I believe, 67. Which is going to be tough while we're on the main roster. It means enemies aren't going to go down, or opponents aren't going to go down as easy as we would like. Uh, I'm hoping we do find out who our mystery rival will be. As we make our Monday Night Raw debut, actually. So we're not going to find out anything in the beginning. Are you telling me Seth Rollins is going to be my mystery rival? The... WWE Champion? They're just gonna put me straight into a feud with the WWE Champion? You know, that's quite the way to begin, uh, you know, your career. And for some reason, it's not letting me do any of my actual uh, running moves. So look how much... I've already hit Randy Orton. There we go. Quite a few times, and he, you know, he's not taking much damage. Which is going to be the issue uh, with every with every match that we do on the main roster is it's going to be an uphill battle. So let's see if we can get our first aerial move off. So there's one. Let's see if we can get the second one. So that's our second one, and we're going to wait till he gets up so we can get our diving shoulder charge at least. As he slowly gets up, and that should be all three. <laughs> okay, I thought. Uh... Oh, jeez, it's. <laughs> I thought it would count as um, trying to just get off that last aerial move. So we're just what we're actually going to do is just hit him down, get a back body drop, and I believe that is far enough. It's, it's not too far yet, but let's get the diving. So, I wish there was kind of something would pop up on the screen to say, you know, congratulations, you've completed the objective. So, I guess we'll find out at the end of the match. Something I had to laugh at, I saw it posted online. One of the authority objectives uh, someone got in their game was have a five-star match with Roman Reigns, but still lose, which is hilarious. It plays into the whole... You know, make Roman look strong. And I thought that I thought that was hilarious. That uh, even in the video games, they want him looking just as strong. So of course, being you know the chosen one, they need him to be as strong as ever. But seeing as how Seth Rollins is actually in my corner right now, perhaps he's actually um, going to be an ally. It'd be cool to be the, you know, the tag team champion with the WWE champion. He's got him so we'll see how that goes. I believe we will... So he's we have our signature now. I just want to taunt a little first. Maybe get some stamina back. Now let's get him. That's oh. It's not the button I pressed, but I'll take it. So... Let's go straight for the DDT. So, no point going for the RKO just yet. Let's see, what does this do? Oh, damn. These are, these are just uh, straight to his face. So, I want to let some of our stamina regenerate. Just because there's no point letting it fall to the second level. Especially when, you know, we're up so high right now. And this would be, you know, the perfect thing for a catch finisher right there. And, yeah, there's still no point yet in going for an RKO because he's, he's just going to kick out. 
And it's strange seeing Randy Orton now um, with the elbow pads, because, you know, I'm pretty sure he didn't have those, like, for years. He wouldn't use them, kind of like how Cody Rhodes wouldn't wear, uh, you know, the knee pads. So he's actually on his comeback right now, so the plan is let's hit him with a move. Let's go in for the RKO, actually. And then go for a pin, because the plan is whenever they have a comeback, it's... You want to prolong it for as long as you can. Because after their comeback is done, that's it. They can't get another one. That's it. So nothing new. They kick out of our first finisher. But, um... What I might actually do is, you know, I'm going to go for a face punch here. We'll just call it that. And then I'm going to see if I can actually get him to tap out. Because I, know, I think boosting uses stamina. And right now we are actually, you know, at the very top of our stamina. Damn. So I actually just wasted a whole bunch of our uh, of our stamina. I'm never actually too good with that. But you know what? I'm actually going to try again now that he's got red head damage. Because I do want to try and win a match by submission. I may even just need to... Um, um, oh, jeez. There's going to be a lot of so I actually have uh, no stamina left now. I seem to have just gone through it all. Oh no, this could be bad. So he's actually in a working hold right now. So we gotta try and take some of his stamina away. Potentially even just get some of ours back. If I can actually just get a move off, that'll be perfect because it's gonna give me enough time. Some of the best superstars, the and I'm actually going to taunt, because I believe at 150, you're just instantly put into your finisher. Oh, damn. He missed. <laughs> so this, uh, this, this could be bad. It's too fast. But the good thing is, he is nowhere near a signature or a finisher or anything like that. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad at, uh, reversing when on the ground. But he just let us get him right away. He's actually bleeding now. So I've never understood in these games how does the RKO make you bleed. So Seth Rollins is actually applauding me right now. So I don't know what that means for us. So we'll just skip through all of this. So the camera's panning to Rollins. So apparently that match uh, got The Rock to like us. Already, okay, so we did get that done. So it's 400 superstar points or skill points. Uh, SP. If anyone's ever played Persona 4, I think SP was your magic gauge. I, I think that's that stood for skill points as well. Or it was money or something like that. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played Persona 4. But at least Persona 5 <laughs> is coming out eventually. So we'll just skip through all these. Man, even Undertaker's on Raw. Could you imagine that match right there actually ever happening? Chris Jericho, Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, and The Rock. Like, that'd be that'd be one hell of a show. So apparently we still don't know our rival. We don't know what's going on with Seth Rollins yet. Put on a five-star match and lose to Bo Dallas. That's interesting. Um, okay, so... Apparently we are going to lose this match, it's uh, what the Authority wants. 
but I don't know how we're going to get ourselves to a five-star match. Maybe if I... I think you can put people through the announce table just anyways, if you have a finisher. I, I would imagine that adds quite a lot to things like move variety and other stuff like that. So I'm going to wait till I get a finisher and take, you know, take it to the outside. We'll see if Seth Rollins uh, shows up once again. So I guess just sometimes it is a random objective to put on a five-star match and lose to the person, which kind of sucks that, especially seeing as how I'm currently in the, you know, trying to move up in the rankings for the Intercontinental title, which is unfortunate, but apparently that is what the authority wants. Oh, I didn't think he was going to reverse. I thought the one time I was ready for a major reversal, and, you know, it doesn't let me do it. But why is it whenever, you know, they do a move, uh, we don't, like, it doesn't add to the move variety or things? Because not, not just one person puts on the five-star match, it's a combination of the two people, is how it should be. So let's get up here. I believe we can do two splashes, and it still counts as move variety. See if we can get, uh, let's turn him around, get some moves done like this. Maybe we can get a ref bump going later as well, because I think, I think weapons actually give quite a lot. It's just a reverse DDT. We are all the way up to one and a half stars now. Let's get a... Ooh. Cheeky bastard. But he comes... Just walks right back into the ring for that. So, we have Survivor Series coming up soon. You know, it's the 25th year of the Survivor Series. Uh, well, 25 years of Undertaker. Back when he was brought out uh, as part of Ted DiBiase's Survivor Series team. A little bit of information. Uh, that wasn't actually his debut as The Undertaker. I think in a few... I believe it was in... Because sometimes, you know, they pre-tape some of the matches. Or back then they would pre-tape several things. You know, and then air them for the weeks to come. Kind of like what TNA does now. The Undertaker had made, um, I think he made his debut on one of those when he was known as Kane the Undertaker, which, of course, from there you can figure out where they got the name for Kane. He was he was originally billed as Kane the Undertaker, spelt C-A-I-N, kind of like, you know, Kane and Abel. And, um... By the time the Survivor Series came around, it it ended up becoming uh, just uh, just Kane, uh, just the Undertaker. Sorry. So you can see where Kane got his name from. But um, it'll be interesting to see if he does anything for Survivor Series. You know, he's got to be if they're promoting it like that. You know, the 25th anniversary of the Undertaker. By the way, it's going. It just it looks like it'll be. I don't know, uh, Undertaker and Kane in some sort of, uh, some sort of match with the Wyatts, but, you know, who's gonna, who's gonna be the third person, you know, who's the third man, brother, all that stuff, because, um, I don't believe, like, who else could they put in, because, you know, someone like Paul Bearer, he's, you know, he's, he's dead. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right so, now. So, we got JBL's hat stays on the ring. Or on the table, at least. Two. Be cool if you could pick up the, the monitors. See if we'll get him to come outside. Okay, that's, okay, that's, that's, uh, it's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> so, we got the grapple here. Let's get him right against... So apparently uh, we can't put
put him through the table just yet. <laughs> so what we're going to do, just hit him with a finisher. Because actually what I think I'm going to do for the plan. So I just want to reset the count. Is there, am I allowed up on top? No. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them. Does this go backwards? In a great time no, apparently not. You always have a great time when you attend a WWE event live. Just like we are here tonight. This is wonderful. Oh, jeez. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just okay, let's see if we can hit the ref. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, authority order failed. Whatever. It's just Bo Dallas. Maybe we'll be able to do it all once, um... You know, once we're at higher ratings, we can do OMG moments, stuff like that. Right now, who cares? It's Bo Dallas. And we're, I believe, we should still be favorable with the authority. You know what? That's good enough for me. Because, of course, we don't know what being favorable or anything like that actually does. We don't know if it gives us title opportunities, that kind of stuff. You lost, yeah, 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 whatever. What is that? A six? Oh, it's a battle royal. That's, you know, that's a way to do it. So, that's actually going to be it for now. Let's check out what the authority wants us to do. Perform an OMG moment during your match. So, I'm going to have to go around and see if I can use some virtual credits to do something like that, if that's what VC stands for. So, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching, and please take care.